Another parade, another bloody negotiation. Smiles, everyone. We must be careful how we present ourselves. Why did Divine Victoria call the Exalted Council? She's kept Orlais from bothering us for the last two years. At increasing political cost, yes. She has done all she can, but the Exalted Council has become necessary. Orlais would control us, and based on their many marriage proposals, they have specific plans for you. Our real concern is Ferelden. They would see us disbanded entirely. It has been too long. I hope the years have been kind to you. How have you been, Mother Giselle? I spent last summer in Empreuse du Lyon, distributing food sent from the exalted plains. The Dales are finally recovering. Since Corypheus fell, I think you may have spent more time traveling than I have. It keeps me out of trouble, Your Worship. I should mention that your forces at Suladin Keep were of great help. Please give my compliments to Baron Deschedin. Divine Victoria asked me to greet you on her behalf. She is currently attending to the Ferelden Ambassador's concerns. You can probably just call her Liliana in private conversation. You can, Inquisitor. I prefer to use her divine name. Our last divine once joked about why I insisted upon calling her Justinia. She called it my way of reassuring her that I had not completely forgotten who was in charge. How do you think Divine Victoria has done these last two years? It is hardly for me to say, Inquisitor. With respect, that's never stopped you before, Mother Giselle. Victoria has proven adept at winning allies with both her intelligence and her faith. It is a blessing in these trying times. We are lucky to have her. I'll speak to Divine Victoria. I believe she would appreciate that, Your Worship. The Divine sees the good that you can do and have done. Duke Cyril will wish to greet you on behalf of Olay. I believe he is currently speaking with the Tevinter Ambassador. Many of your friends have returned as well. I hope you have a chance to speak with them before the Exalted Council begins. The Imperium sent an ambassador? Yes, Your Worship. Dorian Pavas has taken the chance to return from Tevinta. It will be good to see him again. I owe him my apology. I allowed my distrust of Tevinta to cloud my judgment. He took a great risk coming to help us and deserved better treatment. You're going to apologize to Dorian? I have little patience for those who cannot admit they were wrong, Your Worship. Myself included. I will have to make my apologies somewhere public. He will want an audience for his reaction. Who has returned for the Exalted Council? Your dwarven friend, Master Tetras. For one, I understand he spent much of the last few years in Kirkwall. I believe Sir Blackwall has returned as well, although he now uses the name Tom Ranier. Enjoy time with them while you can, Your Worship. I doubt you will have the chance once the Exalted Council is underway. Thank you, Mother Giselle. Your Worship, a final question, if I may. This Exalted Council... Thorelden would have the Inquisition disband. Orlais sees its power as another feather in a Chevalier's helmet. What do you wish to do with the Inquisition? The Inquisition still has work to do. We can't let someone's fear push us into disbanding. Then I wish you luck in the negotiations to come. Make a watch over you, Inquisitor. I will not keep you any longer.
The Prince of Starkhaven wrote to you again. Of course he did. Just put that one in the pile with letters from the Merchants Guild. And the Captain of the City Guard had a very colorful message for me to deliver to you as well. Inquisitor! Andraste's ass, am I ever glad to see you! And the Inquisitor comes to the rescue once again. Is that what you call it? Uh, this is Bran Caven. Until recently, he was the Viscount. Provisional Viscount. Of Kirkwall? So why is he here with messages from the Merchant's Guild? I have resumed my post as Seneschal now that Master Tethras has been elected Viscount. You're the Viscount of Kirkwall now? Well, it seems the two of you have a great deal to discuss. Why don't I just leave you to it? So, it turns out you fund enough reconstruction efforts in a city-state, the nobles give you the worst job they can think of. That's fantastic. You'll make an excellent Viscount. I think the nobility figured, after Dumar and Perrin, what's the worst that could happen if we put the dwarf in charge? They voted me in because I got the harbor and businesses up and running again. They want shit fixed, and I can do that. Anyway, I was hoping I'd catch you before the summit got underway. I got you a sort of present. It's official recognition of your title and holdings in Kirkwall. Congratulations. You're a Compt now. You can't actually do that without... Too late. Already did it. You should stop by Hightown sometime to see your estate. It's pretty nice. For Kirkwall, anyway. Proper disposition of empty estates is supposed to... <clears throat> you were leaving us to talk, remember? <sighs> What are you up to? I feel like I should be suspicious. Look, it's really not that big a deal. Oh, that reminds me. It's the key to the city. You can't give that away without approval from the Council and a special ceremony. It... It's just symbolic, anyway. It controls one of the giant chain nets in the harbor. Really? That is so much better than I thought. This operates those giant chains. Can I try it? No. I don't know how this council thing is going to end for the Inquisition. But whatever gets decided, you've got a place lined up in Kirkwall if you want it. Also, uh, control of the harbor, I guess. Anyway, you should meet with the diplomats. And we'll get in a game of Wicked Grace before I go back, though, right? I wouldn't miss it. Don't bet any public buildings this time.
Well met, your worship. Is everything all right? Yes. Well, I wanted to speak with you, and now you're here. This seems serious. It's not about me. It's about you. Maybe you should sit. I can stand. Maybe I should sit. The last three years have been a joy. I cannot have asked for more love or a better friend. But to take such a drastic step, despite all the consequences or how it would appear, I fear what it might do to us. Do you not feel the same? I suppose I might. You suppose? Marriage is no trivial matter. Marriage? Yes, marriage. You are here to propose, are you not? You're not here to propose. I am going to kill Varric. Why do I believe everything he says? Why? He said I was going to propose. He mentioned a proposal. I suppose I filled in the blanks. Or he did this on purpose. That dwarf gets entirely too much joy from my discomfort. Now that you've brought it up, maybe we should get married. Perhaps one day. It will be a truly romantic proposal, and I will act very surprised. What comes next will not be easy for either of us, but you do not have to fight for me. I am not going anywhere, not even if the Maker himself tries to stop me. Believe that. That is all I meant to say.
Your Worship, I'm glad you're here. Listen, I need you to keep the Chief distracted while we sneak this dragon skull through the room behind him. I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. It's for his birthday. I'll see what I can do, Krem. All right, here he comes. Just keep him talking. He loves talking. Hey, boss. Good to see you. Most mages hate the thick of battle, but I can't imagine hanging back. It's nice to get your hands dirty. That's why I like you, boss. You swing a sword. It's a weird sword made out of magic, but still. It's good to see that the veil has largely healed, now that most of the major rifts are closed. You might think otherwise, but the veil isn't technically a physical barrier. It's more like a magical vibration that repels the fade. Hmm. Did you know that Ferelden has its own names for lords? The country is divided into Tairnirs governed by Tairns. Inside those are cities and Arlings ruled by Arls. And then there's the Banorn. It's a large area of countryside ruled by multiple bands. <sighs> Good to know. Do you think news of the Exalted Council could affect the Lyrium shipments from Orzammar? Uh, maybe. It's fascinating to see the remnants of Syrian culture here. Most of it was deliberately erased during the Orlesian unification. Under the reign of Mafarath's son, Isarath. Uh huh. Surprise! Happy birthday, Chief! Oh, you guys! You got me! Inquisitor Herald. Glad to be back, though. Whatever it is this lot have shoved up their sleeves. Just right up in there. That's it. It's been some time. Well, we don't know what's what, so what's there to go on about? It's Inquisition business, innit? That's all we are. Maybe sort out how they want to mess with us. Then there'll be something to talk about. Inquisitor, I see you have time for afternoon refreshments. Did you know that a merchant in the courtyard is selling gemstones the same color as your eyes? What an odd thing to say. Hmm, I must see this for myself. You're useful to have around, Cole. I still don't understand Orlesians and their masks, but it makes him happy. And I needed the table. For breadcrumbs? Birds like breadcrumbs. Oh, Cole, good day. I didn't see you there. But I saw you, as lovely as your songs. So, you... Huh. The world has ample pain, Inquisitor. The kindness found in Cole is rare indeed. Her songs bring happiness to those who hear, and I can make her happy in return. Well then, carry on.
Fashionably late. I thought you weren't gonna show. I gave you my word we would talk, and I never break my word. Easy there. I was just teasing. So tell me everything that happened while I was away. And Garolf strolls up, hands filled with ripe squashes, and says, Sir, I must report that it was an utter boondoggle. Ha 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 ha! Uh, maybe you had to be there. <laughs> I'm not sure being there would have helped. And please, never do that voice again. Anyway, it's nice to be back. Though I'm not sure what to think of this council. The Wardens will be missing me, but they aren't going to keep me away from a friend who might need my sword arm. I'm getting a little worried for the palace, and any passers-by. <laughs> You there! You're to dodge, not catch! If that ball were a fireball, you'd be dead. You found a dog. They don't breed Mabari in Olay. The merchant said he was abandoned. Perhaps his owner's tired of the novelty. Tire of you? With that positive attitude and fetching ability? He's not supposed to fetch it. I don't think you understand how this works. Another Ferelden trapped at the Winter Palace. I couldn't leave him to that fate. Besides, I think he likes me. You could take him to Ferelden sometime. He should know where he came from. I did promise my sister a visit. She might try to spoil you. <laughs> Remember who you report to. The Inquisition will change after this. I'm not yet sure what that will mean. Whatever happens, our people, you, Liliana, Josephine, will have my support in whatever form you require. If your support comes with that of your new friend, I'm sold. I know a useful ally when I see one. You can help. Dodge this, and I'll find overpriced Orlesian dog treats before we go. Be careful, Inquisitor. We have a ways to go yet. Ole is on your side, Lord Parvis. The Inquisition's support is not a thing to lose lightly. Which is why the Orlesian court is circling it with a net and collar? But you'll have to excuse me. I see an old friend I must greet. Inquisitor, how long has it been? Don't actually tell me. I despise feeling old. It's good to see you, my friend. Thrilled to be at the Exalted Council, Lord Pavus. Oh, riveted. Orle wants the Inquisition tamed, Ferelden wants it gone, the Chantry medals, and Tevinter sends but one ambassador. That's me, by the way. A reward for my interest in the South. Thankfully, Ambassador Pavus is a token appointment. Call on me as you like. Inquisitor. Duke Cyril Montfort, member of the Council of Heralds and Lord of Chateau Hain. 
I have long followed your work. It is extraordinary. Is that sentiment shared by the rest of the court? <laughs> of course. Ole wishes only to offer respectful guidance to the Inquisition. Does your grace feel the Inquisition should continue to rule itself? I would rather see the Inquisition join us freely than be carved into pieces for the chessboard. I have not forgotten Justinia's death. I had friends who perished at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. More than the good you have done, it is the good we may do together I don't wish to lose. Whatever happens, Inquisitor, I wish you well. Divine Victoria, am I interrupting? Of course not, Inquisitor. I was catching up with Redcliffe's Arl. He's here to represent Ferelden at the summit. Inquisitor, good to meet you. How are things in Redcliffe, my lord? Blessedly quiet. The mayor conveys his greetings. Redcliffe remembers its savior. I'll try not to keep you from more important matters. Very well. We'll continue this later, your perfection. Many are frightened of the Inquisition's power, but I will do all I can to allay their fears. When world powers want to discuss plans for the future, I get nervous. Good. Someone should keep you on your toes. We don't want you to get bored, Inquisitor. I have much to do, but let me say this. I may no longer be your spymaster, but I am always here if you require. I'm glad you finally arrived, Inquisitor. The Crown's anxious for news. And your thoughts on Ferelden's position? The breach is long gone, yet Skyhold's army remains. Ferelden can't continue to ignore soldiers on its borders. I appreciate knowing where Ferelden stands. You are owed that, Inquisitor, especially here. These Orlesians will talk circles around you before you get a simple greeting out. I won't keep you longer. We'll have words enough when the Exalted Council begins. As the most eloquent dwarf you know, Sparkles... Speech! Speech! Way too much speech. Varric, there's really no need. What's going on? Inquisitor! You're just in time. Sparkles, the Imperium doesn't deserve you, or want you. It, it may even kill you, but we'll miss you, if it counts. And you didn't know. Okay, folks, time to take the party elsewhere. <laughs> Tom never wanted any. I swear. Uh, leave him. It's true. When the Exalted Council has ended, I'm going back to Tabinta. For good, this time. Tabinta needs someone like you. My father is dead. Assassinated, I believe. I received notice this morning. A perversely cheerful letter congratulating me on assuming his seat in the Magisterium. We only met a few times while I was home. He didn't say anything about keeping me as his heir. This ambassadorship, his doing, I'm told. He must have wanted me away when the trouble began. I have to go back. So you'll truly be a Magister? Oh, yes. I can't wait to degrade the Magisterium with my presence. A new outfit is required. And then what? I find my father's killers and kill them back. Then I find those giving Tevinter a bad name and kill them. They're most likely the same people, so that should make the job easier. You'll need help. I could go with you. Not this time, my friend. I won't be entirely without support. Mayverus has gathered other Magisters who feel as we do. 
we'll be an actual faction in the Magisterium. I'll teach them manners, take them shopping. It'll be fun. How does Bull feel about this? He... wants to come with me. It can't happen, of course. A Canari cannot simply walk around the Imperium, even in a Magister's company. I don't want him hurt. He doesn't want me hurt. We're working it out. I know it was complicated, but... I'm sorry about your father. Thank you. It still doesn't feel real. I wish you safe travels and the best of luck. Oh, I'll need it, thank you. Magisters are tricksy bastards. A present. A going away present. It's a sending crystal. Amazing what friendship with the Inquisition gives you access to. If I get in over my head, or you're overwhelmed with sorrow for lack of my velvety voice... Magic. What? You didn't think I would just leave and you'd never hear from me again, did you? You are my dearest friend. Perhaps my only friend. That will never change, no matter where we are. Now let's finish the good wine before the others get back. Will you walk with me? The first time I came to the Winter Palace, I was only 18. I was dazzled. Such rich hangings, splendid marble columns, more golden lions than I could count. It's all still here, still bright, but I no longer see that same palace. Everything changes. People, most of all. Yes. Now all I see are hands rub raw to make gold gleam, tears shed in the night over silk embroidery. Others overlook them and forget their pain, but I am divine and I cannot be blind. They seek to tear the Inquisition down. You feel it, no? Fear. I'd fear anyone with our vault of secrets, wouldn't you? It is not our secrets, nor our soldiers. There have always been spy masters in private armies. They are afraid of nothing so much as the hand that directs it all. Mine. Already your actions have begun to reshape Thedas. Your influence is felt everywhere. It was only a matter of time before they moved. I'm surprised it took this long. The Inquisition's time is coming to an end. Is that the decree of Her Perfection Divine Victoria? That the Inquisition be dissolved? As Divine, it is my duty to think of Thedas and all our peoples. We set out to restore peace, and now peace is upon us. You and I have come so far through the darkness together, it is time for us both to live in the light. But whatever you decide, I will be honored to stand beside you. Darling, you made it. Excellent. I scheduled this appointment ages ago, and they do appreciate punctuality. Appointment? With the Imperial Garden Spa, of course. You work so hard, my dear. I wanted to treat you. That sounds like a fantastic idea. Of course it is, darling. That's the only kind I have. What are the cheese wheels for? It pains me that you even have to ask. You've clearly been living too long in barely civilized conditions. <laughs> Did you hear something? Relax, darling. It's spa day. How have you been? It seems ages since we've spoken. I hope things are well with you and Cassandra. Things are excellent. Thank you for asking. I'm glad to hear it. You've done so much, darling. You deserve to be happy. You come to this spa very often? As often as I can. Sadly, no more than twice a year at best. Duty first. 
Don't you feel better, my dear? This place really does work miracles. What happened? Darling, it's spa day. Don't fret. You'll undo all the good they've done. Come along, Inquisitor. They have other appointments, you know. It's been quite a day so far, has it not? I've been speaking with representatives from everywhere. Have they given you trouble? Not at all. It is quite alarming. It means they are all saving themselves up for later. Would you walk with me? I should like to take some air before the Exalted Council becomes inescapable. The palace has been most accommodating. We are, after all, here at their insistence. But the ministers may... No. No more talk of the Council. This meeting was to spend time with you in a more relaxed fashion. Then why can I still see those wheels turning in your head? <sighs> Work carries a certain momentum. The truth is, there is a small entertainment happening tonight, to which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. You'd like me to go with you? Very much so. In all the years you've worked with Orlais, you had so little time to enjoy its culture. I do wish you'd warned me the game would take more work after Halam Shiral. <laughs> it's strange. Those were somehow simpler times. With all that's been happening, I promised myself a single evening out. I'd very much like to go with a friend. And what is this small entertainment? Something to ease our minds. I would very much like to surprise you with the details. Why not? Josephine, I put myself in your capable hands. Splendid. I will arrange things at once. The past years have been so busy. We have earned at least a few moments of rest. A calm night out sounds... Bravo! Bravo! Was the woman in gold playing a king? Who, who was the man in feathers? Oh, it's all very simple. The first actor's mask is determined by... Uh, well, I will lend you the program guide. But tell me, did you enjoy the performance? That was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. Truly. That part with the glittery... And, and they actually set fire to... <laughs> yes, I, I truly enjoyed it. Then I call tonight a great success. Oh, look! The encore signal! Thank you, Your Holiness. Now, Artigan, as to your concerns... The Inquisition established an armed presence in Ferelden territory. You outright seized Caer Bronach in Crestwood. Yes, from bandits. Would you like us to give it back to them? Your help was appreciated two years ago, Inquisitor. Now order has been restored, yet you remain. Invading under pretext of restoring order is exactly what the Grey Wardens did to us centuries ago, and we exiled them. Now the Inquisition is doing the same thing with Grey Wardens in their ranks. Your concern is ill-founded. The Grey Wardens have proven their worth time and again. Of course Orle tolerates this interference. Without the Inquisition, Selene would have neither her throne nor her elven... Marquise. Rest assured, Tegan, the Empire of Orle will not stand idle if the Inquisition oversteps its bounds. Unlike Ferelden, however, Orle understands that these were the well-intentioned mistakes of a young organization. 
An organization in need of a guiding hand. Yours, no doubt. Pardon me, Inquisitor. Divine Victoria wishes to speak with you in private. But the Divine Victoria? Who is sitting just up there? Yes, and who was once your spy master. It's a pressing matter, your worship. My apologies. An urgent matter has come to my attention. Ambassador Montillier, can you handle this for a short while? I... of course, Inquisitor. This is highly irregular. Perhaps it would be best if we took a short recess. The guard said we should both see this. I believe she was correct. A canary warrior in full armor. How did he get into the Winter Palace? So what would the left hand of the Divine see when she looked at this? This is a warrior, not a spy. Part of the Antarm, the canary military. Most of his wounds come from a fight against someone using magic but at least a few are from a blade. He was badly hurt, separated from his allies, and made it here before he died. But how? Would the Iron Bull know anything about this? I asked, and he is as surprised as we are. Since becoming Talvashoth, he has had no contact with his people. He seems frustrated at not knowing more. We need to find out what's going on. Can Josephine manage the diplomats while I look around? She will be fine. It's all speeches and posturing for the first few days anyway. I will extend the recess as long as possible. I will also have our friends ready themselves for battle if need be. You think that's likely? I think the Exalted Council may be more exciting than we expected. Morrigan brought me here while showing me the Alluvians. Judging by the bloodstains, he tried to get through here. What's wrong? That one doesn't like you? This mirror doesn't look broken, but it's inactive. Maybe there's a way to unlock it. trail leads to this mirror. Right. Let's see where this guy came from. Elven ruins. I'm not sure we're even in Orlais anymore. Another Kunari, dressed like the one in the Winter Palace. He's Karashok, a foot soldier. Must have been in the same squad. Oh, this is gonna be fun. The old team together again to kick some ass. Right behind you, Tiny. Try not to completely obscure the battlefield.
A spell killed these Kunari. Someone cast it not even an hour ago. We need to find out why these Kunari were here, and who did this to them. Over there, Kunari. If we want to know why they're here, we've got to get across to that island. Understand. Nuvenas Manahelam. Tears Belasama. We're visitors. We didn't mean to disturb you. Virama. Nadinat Sabi. That spirit considered us intruders. To be fair, we are. It must have been set to guard something. was a refuge for elven slaves. You mean the ancient elves kept slaves? Maker's breath. One more thing never to tell Daisy. This whole valley was a sanctuary created by the dread wolf Fen Harel. by the Kunari. Why are they translating it into our language? Seems like the Kunari weren't just passing through. These Kunari were running when they died. Let's find where this battle began. all over the back. He was killed by surprise. This can't have happened too long ago. The blood's not even dry.
Fen Harel, helping former slaves as a mortal, not a god. He took great pains to renounce his supposed divinity. Ordinary guy saves people, accidentally founds religion. Sounds a lot like the chant, actually. The elven gods were just Evanuris. Powerful, but completely mortal mages. Was this the start of an uprising? Freed elven slaves against their former masters? If that's true, Fenerel was teaching these freed slaves the truth about these false gods. Right, boss? It felt like the anchor stung me. This looks like it fits into that pedestal by the broken bridge. This is creepy. <laughs> so, we're getting the band back together. That's exciting. We are not a band of any sort. Just because you can't carry a tune, Seeker, doesn't mean you're not front and center in our band of misfits.
Kadari. Those Kunari attacked the Inquisition on sight. No idea. They weren't Talvashoth, though. This might be a rogue group, but they think they're following the Kuhn. That's Fen Harel. Removing the face markings from a Dalish elf. Isn't this place older than the Dalish? Maybe the markings used to have a different meaning.
hidden weapons. These freed slaves actually fought back against the Evanuris, posing as gods. about an unknown intruder coming through an alluvian. They turned spirits against us, then fled. Two parties then. The Kunari and a mystery agent determined to stop them. It's been too long since we've traveled together. I've missed it. Ah, oh, you missed me. It... I said I missed it. Oh. why the Kunari came here before we go. This letter says the Kunari came to these ruins because the Alluvians connect to Halam Shirah. A staging ground for an invasion? It was some sort of infiltration. There's no more details. Uh, this is crazy. They're acting like we're at war. Are they? I don't know, boss. I wish I did. Come on. We have to warn people about the Kunari's designs on the Winter Palace. 